Look what I got. What? What, what? is that, Oliver? That is One Piece Color Walk Compendium, Volume 1. East Blue oh. to Skypea. My God. So this is a compilation of all the color spreads from East Blue, basically Volume 1 until Skypea. It's like right. 300. 300 pages long, and there's like some uh, sick ass cool long posters in it. You can see here. Whoa! Yeah. These Color Walk compendiums are a collection of books called Color Walk uh, that yeah. was released in, uh, in Japan. And these are in a more high quality kind of book, and yeah. uh, are a collection of them. More expensive, yeah. of course, but more awesome too. The Japanese Color Walks are more like a thick magazine. This is yeah. more like a proper Look like more book, proper art book. Like this. Yeah, so there's tons of goodies in these books. There's uh, all the color walks. There's some unreleased pictures you haven't seen, like uh, either from the volumes or from uh, the scanlations or whatever. And yeah. there's interviews. There's tons of fun trivia about like Oda's thoughts when he's making a, a color spread, which is quite hilarious at times. Do you have any? These are mostly color spreads have you found any any favorites oh i found man, <laughs> i love almost all of them i did find some cool <laughs> stuff man some really cool stuff like there's one color spread with the uh, luffy he's painting and then he's painting on a bear and then there's another color spread yeah, right. uh luffy and nami hanging out with uh, a few penguins and then there's a third colored picture with the beer right. from the first color spread, right. penguins from the but second color spread, and they're all them, like, yeah. yeah, in the same picture. It's like, it's 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 the Straw Hat crew from another dimension or something. It's yeah. like all penguins and bears. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> really cool. if, if you aren't too familiar with the color spreads of One Piece, they are very they are in a separate dimension more or less. Uh, that can be fan request stuff that Oda has on his mind, weird stuff. And it, yeah. uh, most often it doesn't have anything to do at all with the actual story. But apparently he creates stories inside these as well. Mm. And if you dig deep into it, then you can... I don't know, maybe you can find some some hints on the future. You can definitely see yeah. what Oda is inspired by and what he likes. Yeah. There's this cool picture of like Shanks and Buggy. And there's tons of uh, pirates around them. And they're like all looking at a, a map with a... It looks like a treasure map because there's like crosses on it and then in the background there you can see some some parts we've never seen in the series so i'm curious yeah. if oda still got those in his mind because there's like one guy with an axe and scars all around his face you know and then recently we found out about silver axe in, in rock's crew yeah so, you know who knows maybe maybe that is silver axe and then we have this pirate with a green outfit as well yeah, he looks like he would be some more prominent character. The book you have, it's very old pictures. So this must be yeah. like 15, 20 years ago. Either this was just a sketch for someone or just a random pirate, or Oda has actually waited this long to introduce someone that he hinted at way back when, which would be very cool. It's like the, the classic eye patch for a pirate. We haven't seen any pirate actually having an eye patch. Oda had said that he's he's saving it for someone, someone special. Mm. Anyway, there's like uh, pictures of Oda's early days. I have actually pictures in my book from before One Piece uh, was serialized, before One Piece was a thing. There's like color pics of, uh, you can see Alice in the Wonderland, the wizard from Oz, Pinocchio, and there's like one girl with uh, a lot of like dwarfs or something and she got purple hair so i'm thinking mm. oh, purple hair could it be could early it sketch be? of tama <laughs> i love this old picture with i guess it's some kind of early version of nami red haired girl with a, a robot hand and a giant axe indeed that is nami and the guy behind her is actually supposed to be sanji i think Oh, yeah, I can I can see that. There's a lot of dragons in this book, and Oda used to draw dragons a bit 
like in another way back then. He draw them striped with many different colors. And I did some research and I found out it's from a, a children's book called My Father's a Dragon. That was released okay. like 70 years ago. Uh, really? So that's that's pretty cool. And yeah, there's the, also the style is very different. It's it's natural. It evolves over time. There's even a cool picture of Snoop Dogg cosplaying as Shopper. <laughs> and he I want to see Snoop Dogg stand. have that hat. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> please. And yeah, there's a lot of sketches too. Uh, I looked through some of the sketches, and I I think I noticed that there's a sketch for uh, Doctor Kureha, and mm -hmm. the sketch. It looks like Shaki from Savando yeah, Archipelago. Right. That's what I was thinking. It looks very Shaki? much like Shaki. Yeah, well, but it can't be Shaki. It has to be Dr. Uh, Kureha, since this is yeah. from early One Piece. And there's also like uh, an early colored picture of Boa, uh, Boa Hancock, with uh, a yellow snake, and she's holding a glass of wine. That's pretty yeah. cool too. There's several other characters we see the the back of here. Maybe like the guy in the, in the bottom right there is some kind of early version of Kaido or mm. a giant or something. Oda has talked about that from the start he didn't have the idea for the Shichibukai, but he had the idea that a couple of great pirates would be obstacles for for Luffy and the gang. Right. Uh, so probably he had some kind of early super early version of Kaido and Big Mom. Robin, you solved it. Yeah. This is you Kaido, said it. man. These four are the early designs for Yonko, for the Emperors of the Sea. So is the guy at the top an early version of Whitebeard? Yeah, and then there's Boa Hancock, but then mm -hmm. the Emperor that was female turned to Big Mom instead, and he put Boa Hancock yeah. as a Shishibukai. Yeah. yeah, maybe. The guy in the middle, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I scrapped him. That would be cool if these are like the first idea for the four big pirate enemies Luffy would face. Maybe we will not. never know. <laughs> and then uh, we have my personal favorite color spread. It's like they're painting. That's cool. And there's tons of Mimi, Mimi Marys. And there's a there's a Mary Castle at the top. And there's like a Mary monster. Sky, mm. sky serpent or something. Yeah, then we got three cool interviews. Like first one is uh, with Akira Toriyama, and second one is with Fujiko Fujio. That's one of the guys doing Doramon. You know Doramon? Yeah, right. Yeah. The blue cat. The third one, maybe one of the mo most interesting ones, is Yoshitaka Amano. He's done like artwork for. Final Fantasy, for example. Yeah, exactly. And lots it's of very, other stuff. Very good uh, artist. Is it worth it? It's quite expensive, this book, right? Yeah, it's like... It's around the same price as buying four volumes. Uh, 40 dollars or euros. It's a pretty book. It's, it's very pretty. Uh, even says so at the back. nice trivia. 39 yeah. dollars. 53... Exactly. Canadian dollars and 28 pounds. For me, personally, of course it's worth it. Because I love yeah. everything in it. I'm the one who likes to see different animals showing up in one color spread and when they have appeared in like other pictures. I don't know, for a normal casual reader, yeah, it, it's, it could serve as a pretty art book. If you're a, a super One Piece nerd, maybe then it's, it's worth the price. So then uh, go and buy it if you are a Super One Piece fan, which you probably are if you are looking at Gear Reverse.